Finally came to his senses. Wow! An heirloom Bo gave it to Rex to uh, give to me. Nice, nice, well, nice. Well, now that you've got the rock, we have to work on your dress. Every time. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, my man is about to start. I'm gonna go mosey on over. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, I knew the swatches would scare him away. Now, your phone call wasn't it just about showing me a new ring, was it? It's about Rex. All right. I think he may have a son. You know what? Rex reproduced? I think so. You think? D did he tell you? I don't think Rex even knows about the boy. I, I don't get it. All right. You know his ex, JG, from Paris, Texas? Well, she's in town for Marcy's arraignment, so I run into her. And then walks this kid, and he looks to be about the age that he'd be if Rex had gotten her pregnant in high school. And he looks exactly like Rex. Okay, slow down, Adriana. I know, Layla, this all sounds really circumstantial, but get this. She never told Rex that she had a son, and she asked me point blank not to mention the kid to Rex. Well, did you ask her if her son was Rex's? Yeah. She said no. Then maybe he isn't. Jones is waiting for your table, too. You know, actually, we can see Mr. Jones from here. I know. I'm trying to keep busy. I don't want to look like I'm slacking. Okay, got it. This way, folks. Listen, I really want to thank you again. Thank you for keeping that gallery going while I was away at St. Anne's. Well, ever since the Real Americans exhibit, I felt the real connection to the place. And you know, I love the work. And you know what? You got a real good eye for it, too. Oh, thank you. You know, it's really nice to see you back into the swing of things and on your feet. Well, I don't know about the swing, but I am still finding my footing. Yeah, well, I have to have friends that you can come, you know? So how long are you going to need to stay with the commissioner? Um, well, it's an open-ended guardianship. I stay there until my doctor thinks I'm well enough to be on my own. Well, I hope that happens soon. Which well, she's welcome to stay as long as she needs to. To business, then. Um, I've got some very exciting news about the project I asked you to help me with. So, Gigi has a son, so what? But she has baggage, too. She could be facing serious jail time for helping Marcy evade the FBI. There could be any number of reasons why she wants to keep that kid undercover. But you choose the worst one. I didn't. You haven't even discussed this with Rex. You have to talk to him. You can't keep secrets from the man you're about to marry. Especially big ones. Like the size of a real live kid. Each one of these hearts is going to be a unique piece of art. And what I've asked Vincent to do is to go around to all the accessible locations in Landview and put them out there. Each person's going to be invited to write their secret down on a piece of paper, put it in into the box, and then they're going to also put money in there. And all that money is going to go to the American Heart Association Go Red for Women campaign. That's a great idea. Oh, wait. Tell the commissioner the name of the project. <laughs> Get it off your chest. <laughs> Come on, now that's hot, right? Get it off your chest. That's great. Think about it. It taps into a real basic need that we all feel. You know, the first sculpture is due at the art gallery at any moment. Why don't you go find a nice place to put it, and I'm going to go pick it up. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Just wait until we get the rest of the money. Oh, wow, what what happens to the secrets we put inside? Oh, well, don't worry about that. They're all going to be destroyed at the Go Red Ball. Getting them off our chests. Yeah. Exactly. It does seem kind of irresistible, mm -hmm. putting a secret inside it. <laughs> well, what if you get to lose, right? Right. Hey, thank you. Oh, you got it. <laughs> thank you. Mm. Okay. <laughs> 